Hey, sorry I'm late. Huh? Looks like I'm not the only one. Where's HP? Ah, uh, don't hold your breath. I thought this lunch was in his honor. Yeah, well, <clears throat> seems like you get one little old Governor's Outstanding Achievement Award, and hey, you figure you can keep people holding their heels as long as you want. No, he, he heard about the trout fishing over at Miller's Pond and decided that he just had to go over and catch himself something. That's all I know. <laughs> well, I guess when you're his age, you've earned the right to go fishing whenever you damn well please. <laughs> That's exactly what I told him. <laughs> I expected there to be more of us. Did you invite Mindy? Oh, uh, yeah, but when she heard about what HB was doing, she decided to go over and cut bait right alongside him. Out doing a story on the nesting habits of the ringneck loon? I was out taking a walk. There's never a soul down here. Well, today there is. <sighs> Melinda, I had no intention of bothering you. What are your intentions, Nick? Do you even know anymore? Oh, thank goodness. Uh, thank you for letting me know, Ed, that Michelle's all right. It's very unlike her. Yeah. Thanks again. Bye. Roger? I didn't expect you back so... soon. Oh, you're kidding me. I have you all to myself? Are those for me? Oh, good, because I have something for you. Imagine my surprise when I was woken up at 2 a.m. in the morning to find at the foot of my bed what I thought was the ghost of Spot the Chicken wearing these. <laughs> and thanks to you, now my neighbors think that I'm practicing voodoo. Oh, what can I say? I, I couldn't cook her. <laughs> I have this thing, you know, about blood. Yeah, one of your many mysteries. So, did you come over here to see if I hired a private detective to unearth your childhood secrets? Oh, you got so, so, so much to learn, gorgeous. Who gives a damn where a guy was born? Or who he went to school with? That's small talk, but people have nothing to say. You and I should be dealing with it now. See, for the past few weeks, you have been seriously disturbing my sleep. Oh, 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 poor baby. And actually, you're, you're starting to play hell with my waking hours. See, I, I close my eyes. All I can see is your mouth. Your soft, delectable mouth. And I just... flight attendant, a simple question about a connection between Los Angeles and San Jose. She looks at me like, are you with first class? I mean, these people used to want to help you. Now it's sit down, shut up, and whatever you do, don't ask for an extra blanket. You're not mad at her. You're mad at Harley. No kidding. But what I can't quite figure out is why you're not. Because I know she wanted to tell me all this. She's probably afraid that after all these years of me thinking that Dad was some kind of god that... I'd probably crack up if I found out he wasn't. Yeah, well, when you think about it, that's exactly what she's doing. I mean, is it the act of a totally sane person to desert the one you're supposed to love on a million to one shot to find some guy on never even sent you a Christmas card? Well, what is she gonna do? I mean, what could she possibly do if she found him? I mean, what would she say? You better be asking yourself the same question, Frank. Because if this lead amounts to anything, your sister's not gonna be the only one finally face to face with the old man. You will be, too. Well, I just got confirmation from the San Jose police that he was a patient here in 1991. Frank Achilles Cooper? Senior, yes. But he may have left that off. He also was called Buzz. Cooper, Frank A. Here we go. Oh, he was here, all right. What for? Reconstructive surgery. Looks like he had his whole face rebuilt. It's Eve. Uh, no, no, I was just going to ask you the same thing. Actually, uh, Nick invited me to lunch, and he's not here. Well, I don't know. It must be just one of those vacation things. You know, you get back and you forget the little details of life, like, oh, time of day, work, you know, that sort of thing. 
Uh, anyway, I'll have him come to work uh, right after we have lunch. Right. Bye-bye. What's her problem? Who? He got... She keeps looking over here. It's starting to set my teeth on edge. Yeah, well, I don't take real kindly to her myself. I certainly don't see how... Nick picked her over Mindy. But, um, I'm sure she's nice enough. Yeah, I'm not. What are you saying? Every time her and Mindy are in the same room, I just get these weird vibes. You know what Mindy said the other day? She said, underneath that woman's smile, there's hostility breeding like mosquitoes in July. Hi. Um, let me ask you a question. Mr. Lewis uh, has an extra uh, setting at his table, and I wondered if by any chance you knew if he's expecting someone. Well, yes, they were, but they just got a phone call, and the party they were expecting will not be joining them. Thank you. But I was just wondering, um, I noticed that you have an extra setting here. Would you by any chance be expecting Melinda? 